So in the previous set of homeworks, before the last exam, we focused on differentiation of multivariable functions. So now we're going to uh, focus on integrating multivariable functions. And we're going to start off with a simple example where we multi uh, integrate sorry, with respect to x. So consider the function f of x, y equals 2x squared, y squared plus y squared plus x squared. And we're asked here to calculate the partial derivative with respect to x. And the idea is we want to see what happens when we integrate that partial derivative with respect to x, we in, or do the integration with respect to x. So partial derivative means hold the y as a constant. So we're going to get 4x taking the derivative of x squared. The y squared is a constant with respect to x, so it's going to work as a, act as a coefficient on x plus the derivative of y squared will be zero because we hold y squared as a constant with respect to x and then the derivative of x squared would just be 2x and so the question would be what happens if we integrate this with respect to x and the idea is for integrating with respect to x we do the same thing that we did when we differentiated with respect to x in other words we hold y as a constant so if I'm integrating the partial derivative with respect to x will be integrating this right here. So we have 4xy squared plus 2x dx. And everything you've learned about integrating is going to hold. So we see that we have uh, the integral of a sum of two functions. So we know we can break it into the sum of two integrals. And anything that's a constant can be factored out in front of the integral. So in this case, because we're integrating with respect to x, we are holding the y as a constant, which means the 4, which is a constant, and the y squared, which is being held constant, can be factored out front. So it would be 4y squared x dx plus the 2 is a constant times x dx. So we can break it into two integrals with the constants factored out and then integrate like we usually do. So here's our constant 4y squared times when we integrate x squared we get 1, sorry when we integrate x we get 1 half x squared. The brain's already saying the answer to the integration. Plus we have 2 the constant times uh, integrate x is going to be 1 half x squared and then we need to get a constant of integration and notice what's happening here is we're not getting back the y squared because any function that is just a function of y is going to have a derivative of zero so when we integrate just like we just like what happened when we worked with single variable functions we don't get back the things that are held constant so we really get a constant that is a function of y as a constant of integration. Usually you just write c for the constant of integration, but I want to emphasize that this is some function of y now. Any function of y would have a derivative of 0. And then if we simplify, we get 2x squared times y squared. The order of multiplication there doesn't matter. Plus 2 times a half is just the x squared. So we can see that anything that had an x in it in the original function, we got that back, but anything that was a function of just y, we don't get that back. So we get that plus a constant of integration that we're accustomed to getting when we have an indefinite integral. It's just now our constant is actually a function of, it's a constant function of y. If we have limits of integration and we integrate the partial derivative of x with respect to x, but now we have limits of integration. So this is really saying let x equal, uh, let x run from 1 to x equals y. So the limits of integration, if you're integrating with respect to x, will never have an x in them, but they can have functions of the other independent variables. So in this case, y is the other independent variable. So functions of y can show up here, but no function of x can show up in the limits of integration. And we know when we integrate this, 
when we integrate the partial derivative with respect to x, we'll get exactly what we got here. We just won't get the constant of integration because now we have a definite integral with bounds of integration. So we're going to get the two x squared y squared plus x squared, but now it's going to be running from one to y, and then we do exactly what we're accustomed to doing. Everywhere we see an x, we replace it with the upper bound of integration, so two x squared will become 2y squared times the y squared that's already there plus replace the x with the y plus y squared minus now plug in the lower bound of integration so 2 times um, it'll be 2 times 1 times 1 plus 1 squared is 1 so this will just be a 3 so minus 3 and then we can simplify this just a hair 2 times y to the fourth plus y squared minus 3 and this is what is going to be typical if we do a definite integral with respect to x what we wind up with is something that is strictly a function of y.